right, we got one more video, and it is the relationship spread. But right now, we are on Earth Sign Energy. This is for. Wait a minute. This is for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Let's see what's going on. We're going to do that. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to pull out three from the top right here, and then we're just going to let that go. I'm recording this on my phone. Usually, I have a spread for y'all. It ain't in front of my computer. I tell y'all, my computer takes majority up of my desk and everything else. So, it ain't as wide as that. So, I had to change jump. Stand So, we're just going to pull out three cards to see what's going on. We're going to clarify what this is today. Let's go. That was fast. Overall, you got Knight of Cups energy. Mm. You got Five of Swords. Six of Swords. And Four of Pentacles. Okay, that's good. Somebody's letting go of returning back to old habits. So that's kind of good. That's kind of good. Because you got Knight of Cups on the back of the deck. No, you got six of ones and four of swords. Let's say we're gonna see. We're gonna see before I stop. I'm really ahead of my time. But let's go. We're gonna see what this five of swords energy is all about. And then we're gonna push forward and see what's going on. Alright. Five of swords. We're gonna see what that's about. Seven of sticks, and you got the six of baskets. Yeah, that's why I said the five of swords, and you have the mother of sticks. You got the grandchildren, you got the father of baskets, and you got the six of baskets. Yikes! Yikes! Okay, and it's four on um, this five of sword energy as we come to um talk about you hear me say that uh situation of being at a standstill not being able to move dealing with conflict not being able to see eye to eye you do have for people don't know that's the queen of wands energy or whatever the case may be maybe in a position for being hopeful trying to restore some aspect but you have this five this father of baskets and the six of basket where somebody's emotionally stuck like somebody is emotionally way down burdensome inability to take accountability for past actions it's kind of like somebody's ready to return in a sense back to that type of behavior we will see let's get on down to the six of swords and see what comes out wait one of my cars split up join horse that's the emperor Five of Swords, the Magician, Mother of Baskets. Mm. To me, I just want to say this like you hear me say somebody seems like they letting go of returning back to old behavior, but it's kind of like somebody's at a standstill. I don't know if it's the emotionless, like the apathism, because, you know, earth signs sometimes go through there where they sometimes don't recognize their emotions and they can kind of be cold and stern and like, OK, well, I don't care. And not thinking about everybody in most cases. <laughs> um, So they could kind of, you know, mess them up. You hear me say sometimes they can be a little apathetic when it comes to certain things. Sometimes. I'm talking about the lower vibration of earth signs. But the six of swords energy. You have the John Horse, the five of knives, the mother of baskets, and the hermit. It seems like here it's been like a troublesome time where you hear me say trusting the process. For you being able to... Um, it may be with you in leadership. That may be going on. You in leadership or you in some sort of council. When you hear me say coming to the emotional or mental when it comes to communicating those aspects. Maybe dealing with a water sign here. 
But you do got the uh, magician here as well. So that's why I said it kind of gives me that energy. Wait a minute. Ace of coins on the bottom of the deck. You got sun and eyes and the eight of baskets. Some of y'all may be dealing with a hurt. Some of y'all may be dealing with an air sign at this typical type moment. Here you have um, that's what I say. It's kind of like here, like it's it's like this debative type of energy, like some mental aspect, like somebody's being stuck in a situation, like learning how to walk away. It's this last word type energy somebody has been so focused and driven of listening to their own mind or perception perception it could be the people or the voices around you that may outweigh yours to where you feel like you may be in a defensive stance to where you always have to when it comes to uh because you got the mother baskets and then you got the magician here so it's kind of like it may be the way that love may be shown in that moment how you may be communicating but you got the sun and eyes and the eight of baskets like walking away it's like this walking away. I'm telling you, it's this walking away energy. I'm telling you, it's kind of like, who? Wait a minute. We'll see. I think it's that full pivot because we'll see. I don't want to move the hand too fast. But it is giving me ugh, ten of baskets. I don't know if it's you or people you may be dealing with, but this is where you hear me say, like, unhappy. This is the unhappiness where you hear me say, like, that's why I say it's the mother bass. That's why I say it's kind of like this competitive, this uh, back and forth type energy, lack of empathy. It could be work setting or your overall dynamic, but it's kind of like somebody feels forced in most instances. Uh, it could be the foundation of relationships, especially with the Six of Cups. So it's kind of like um, the unhappiness within self or situations and being around, communicating, connecting, not knowing how to say no. Um learn behaviors of situations of different people so it's just like yeah it's kind of like we're gonna fake a smile leg like, like it's really good but it's really not good so that's why i said it could be you connecting with someone or something but you got the john horse so i don't know it may be how your higher self may operate when it comes to you and your thinking or it could be you coexisting with other people it could be some leadership skills that's going on right now that may be tested so let's get to the four of pentacles Let's get to the core. Mother nice. Ooh. Sun sticks. Railroad bill. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, you got mother coins. Mm. Yeah, four pentacles. Let them go fast. There, ten of nines, six of nines, pride. Real father sounds and the daughter. Oh, my bad. Anywho, but it seems like here, that I say it's going to be a troublesome process when it comes to rearranging the mind and how you react with certain when it comes to certain things, especially where you hear me say earth signs struggle with this being empathetic to other people's feelings, sometimes being so in them or um like being adjusted because you hear me say earth is everywhere. So knowing being how to be yourself around other people or some people may struggle with that or it could come from family instances, but it seems like somebody is very hyperly negative so it's hard for somebody to let go of negativity could necessarily be a mom or it could be you when you hear me say when it comes to child or relation then you got a uh, railroad bill which is the cancer and energy and the ten of knives where you hear me say quickly shifting there may be a problem that you may be going through right now like shifting past certain things like okay well i'm not gonna do this no more and that's how it seems like you keep returning back to the same antics or you could be seeing somebody like this because this is a lot of swords. I'm telling you for earth signs. Oh, I said it's a lot of swords. And when y'all be communicating and when it's that way, it can be very hypercritical. I'm telling y'all when y'all get a little ticked off and pissed off. Y'all can be very hypercritical. Just always just it's like this sense of burst of negativity 24-7. 
And that's a lot to deal with. I'm telling you. So you got the Six of Swords. You got the Strength. You got Aunt Caroline in reverse. And you got Father Sims and the Daughter of Coins. That's why I said it's like this fastness, swiftness of saying, okay, well, I'm done with this. Okay, I'm over it. I have achieved the worst. And then, boom, it's back at the same thing because of pride, ego, uh, not knowing what let to what not knowing what to let go of, um, not knowing what to let go of, patience. Some earth signs have not mastered patience. I'm telling you, it's not mastered patience. It's kind of like this two sides. It's like two sides to a coin. I don't know why I get this. Two sides to a coin. I don't know why I keep getting it. But it's like that type of solidifying energy that's keeping somebody stuck. So somebody don't know when they should do this and when they should not. So it seems like a more of a boundary versus communication with me. That's what I'm getting. Capricorn energy. Needing to control... Like, there's, there may be a problem somebody may be struggling with, like, needing to control or whatever the case may be, especially when it comes to that, like, becoming obsessive. Like, that's what it is. Like, being obsessive with wanting things your way, where you hear me say those negative type traits. They can be highlighted in any sign. But, ooh, let me tell you, it's not just Capricorns. I tell you that. It's all herb signs. But, um, that type of energy where you hear me say being obsessive, not knowing how to let something go. Fighting to the gods. Daughter baskets. And the bones. That's why I said not knowing how to let something go. Especially when it comes to a sense of truth. I was like, it's kind of like somebody that's not um, emotionally fulfilled. Or got a negative perspective. It's kind of like this. I don't know if it's a strained relationship with mother and daughter. That's what it's kind of giving me. Or child or existing or relationship but it's real family i'm telling you it's like there it's like there i'm telling you it's like this sense of truth like seeing the truth of aspects like it's i'm saying it's control issues it's control it's conflict it's horrible communication and boundaries eagerness readiness willingness Somebody see the good in their behavior. Could be mentally stuck when it comes to you making options. It's kind of like you feel like you can't say a fork in the road and every choice that you make, it seems like it goes against you. That's why I said somebody may be following a little bit too much of their own counseling. Where you hear me say, especially with the Ten of Cups, so you be around hyperly negative people or not being happy or <clears throat> not able to see... Um, not able to see what lies ahead is kind of like, um, I think something may be blocking you at this moment when it comes to how you may and want to move certain things. Control may be limiting somebody's perspective. So let's just say if you were in a sense of being so folly, right? And just needing to control or this, 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 this. I'm talking about lower vibrational people. But um, if you suffer with this, it's kind of like each decision making, it seems like it's going to be damned if I do, damned if I don't, because somebody's not taking the time to pause, stop, and listen. Look at these tires. Dr. Buzz, and this one I always be telling y'all about Gullah Jack when I say if you can't do the time, don't do the time. A lot of don't, if you can't do the crime, don't do the time. A lot of every action has a reaction in most cases when a lot of people react in most cases. When you talk about Dr. Buzzard, how he deal with unfairness in most cases, and sometimes some people can go to the extreme. The extreme when it comes to um their actions and not having a sense of it's like I ain't going to say remorse, because remorse is in here. I do feel remorse. But it's more of this energy of doing too much too fast. Like, that's what you hear me say. It's, it's crazy where you hear me say letting it go, and then it goes right back to revert, because earth signs is in ground. Ground doesn't move. It takes earthquakes to shatter. Like, even if you flood, it's still going to be ground there. It takes a earthquaking type moment to get them to move from their perceptive. 
So when you think you're changing something, you really not changing something. So it's kind of hard breaking down those sets of barriers. And that may be where you may be stuck. Getting caught up. Making unnecessary sacrifices. Cutting off your nose to spite your face. That type of energy. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Coins. Page of Pentacles reverse. Five of Pentacles reverse. Four of Wands. Big Mama. I think that's the sun. I don't know. But I know what she's staying for, though. Period. <laughs> but, um... That's what I say. It's kind of like this. It could be in the work front. It could be in the home front, though. It kind of just gives me, though, like this need, this greed, this material aspect or whatever the case may be. Like somebody who could be just a Debbie Downer, a buzzkill. Um, I ain't going to say not financially savvy because somebody may be financially savvy, but somebody may be going through some financial challenges right now. Or whatever the case may be, it's kind of like you're trying to build false partnerships with people or bonds with somebody right now. I'm telling you, it's just this one man ship. Like I told you, you should go check out the fire sign reading. I don't know why that would resonate with y'all, but it would. But it's kind of like somebody trying to build partnerships with bad connections, especially like I'm saying. It's, it's I'm telling you, it just gives me that though. It's like, I need to do this by myself. I need to do this. But like somebody just always me, 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 I, 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 and the sense of control and not a we. That's why I said being able to go wherever, do whatever you want to do with no remorse of somebody else. Like it's remorse for the actions after, but it's no remorse then. Ace of Wands. Miss Ida. Ancestors. Son of Baskets. Baskets. I say all the time when people need love the most, that's when they are not like as loving though. But it's kind of like here when it comes to you and compromise. I was gonna say the big queen and the three swords. That's why it seems like it may life may really. I'm telling you, I don't like this. Not saying like that, but it may seem like life is truly unfair for somebody right now. That's an air, earth sign energy. Or you may be seeing somebody deal with something uncomfortable. Or you may feel like life is chugging at you in a different way. Like somebody learning less is very hard because this is one man ship. Somebody is not in a sense of uh, understanding other people. It's this, I want what I want. It's a control need. I'm telling you, when it comes to them listening to their inner voice or their guidance, they're not... Like, they're not giving their intuition a chance. They just go face first off their what they want to do or what they consume for us knowledge-wise. Somebody listening to their intuition because their intuition can put them in a better position. Like, they're not being able to see for us that perspective, especially if, um, like, get to the bottom of certain things. Somebody may be uh, mentally blocked at this moment, especially if you uh, operate within spirit, somebody may feel like it's this, uh, somebody may feel if you operate in a sense of with a spiritual concept, you may feel like your ancestors are not there at this moment. Well, you need a sense of support or loving. Because somebody is not compromising. I'm telling you, somebody's not compromising. I'm telling you, it's not. Somebody don't know how to compromise. Like, they head in the clouds. It's kind of like their sense of needing uh of affection and love probably from one source oh i thought i want them all oh shit uh probably from a sense of one source or connection or used to get in their way that's the biggest problem so it's kind of like if you met with conflict it's because you're given conflict so it may seem like a sense of hurt or betrayal or this but it's like that's what you're getting 
because that's what you're giving. Does that make sense? Two of sticks. Look at that. He's walking in the water. He's making a decision to go towards the water and thrust towards that, but it's kind of like somebody mentally being stuck. Like you're going to say, letting fear consume them, not knowing what to do, especially when it comes to the high priests and the ace of wands. It's kind of like somebody's not listening to their sense of inner guides or knowing what it is that they should do. Hermit. Six of coins. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. That's what I say. It's like the stuck, especially when it comes to self, like what you should do. Like, don't, I'm telling you, this is what it give me, though. You know how you see them people always doing stuff for everybody else and they don't know how to do stuff for themselves? That when you say, hey, what do you want to do? They don't know what they want to do. They spend majority of the time thinking and contemplating or just basically complaining. I'm telling you what, all these swords are reversed because it's opposite in this deck. So it's kind of like they spend majority of the time complaining versus doing what it is that they should do. So it's like when you get the chance, it's kind of like, I don't know. Because negativity has consumed somebody for so long or their way of thinking or just being a one-man thinker. That's why I say, give me this cut off my nose to spite my face type of energy. That's that type of thing. If I can't come in and I can't do this, da, 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 da. you know how, like, say, for instance, you know, as if you was an artist and you go into a show and you got your demands, that's cool. But the Ten of Cups is reversed. Um, family, interpersonal, those type of things. That's where it seems like it's those demands that are in high. I can't see the forest from the trees. I don't know where the hell that came from. Where did one man? Four knives. Father of Wands. King of Pentacles. Reversed. Ooh, that's like dead. Dead. <laughs> dead. It kind of gives me to, I'm telling you, somebody may be going through some sort of financial changes or just basically being money hungry and consumed with money. It's like when it comes to you and decisions where you hear me say, especially when it comes to you receiving or knowing what to do with it, it's kind of like somebody got money management problems or somebody may be too consumed with a dollar. That's what it kind of gives me to. Too consumed with a dollar. Too consumed with a dollar. Too consumed with a dollar. But it's, I'm telling you, it gives me family conflict, though. Seven of Pentacles. Wasted opportunities. Things that didn't happen for you in the moment. Um, financial investment gone to waste. That's what I say. It seems like money, family, and your own emotions in this moment. I see it there. Ace of Baskets and the Freemans. A sub is in a John Freeman. Boom, boom. Doom, doom, doom. Why am I doing it? <clears throat> if it's you in a personal relationship or you with love, somebody got to learn how to take the risk. Like, they really do. Because in John Freeman in his deck, he said he sit back and he see, he, like, in the deck, it literally means it. And I'll show y'all. Well, no, I can't show y'all at the end. And literally, John Freeman in the deck said he sit around and he see people say, they shoulda, coulda, woulda, and they never do. And they let like pass them by. And they want to try different things, but they really don't. Because they're so stuck and consumed with, well, this didn't work. This ain't happen. This ain't happen. Versus just trying something and being saying, well, maybe this will work out. Especially when it comes to the Ace of Baskets, love, passion projects. You hear me say finding a new flow in life, a new strength. Being able to accept it, being a little more kind and honest with self. But it looks like this may be a struggle that may be going on when it comes to you. Yeah. Seven of baskets. Yes. Three of wands. 
Somebody think too much. Let me tell you, somebody think too much. Two and a half. Somebody needs to. It's like they think too much, and it's like when they. It's a sense of. How can I put it? Um. I'm trying to say, if things ain't working the way you want it to go, it's because it's forcing you to see some sense of truth that you had not seen. Maybe with self, maybe with your actions, maybe with the maybe with the way you move, maybe with love, or maybe with certain opportunities. Like that's what it is, though. Like I'm telling you, I see that a lot of times at herb signs. What time is it? anything else coming out i don't think nothing else gonna come out for y'all it was tried and true and straight to the point i said that defensive to the guys like defending was yours i said that's that lower vibration i told y'all when nerve signs get mad they just start saying why the fuck the flow on the flow you be like uh we bought the house and it was like that <laughs> why the roll on the tissue that way you put it on there like, just nitpicky but then over and all, though, it's, you hear me say for it's letting things go. It could be old business, aspects, or something tethered to money. Or you hear me say it does give me some strange relationship with a mother and daughter. Um, mother and daughter or a parenting type situation or idea. Expects, it's, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a parent and child type relationship. That's what it kind of does give me, though. But it's just me, 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 me. It's a one band show. Somebody cut off their nose to spite their face. I'm telling you, when it comes to them listening to their intuition, it does not. When it comes to them taking certain strides or taking risks on themselves, they don't. When it comes to um, listening to what they're so accustomed to doing with the Capricorn energy, yes, because that's what works for them. And it's kind of like a situation that works don't work no more. And it's kind of like, that's why it seems like you stuck on the position of the hangman. Uh, where you're in the position of the hangman where you feel like, damn, how the hell I get caught? How the hell I get caught? Or whatever the case may be. And it also talks about how, uh, with the gullah jack, though, in here, how he was trying to escape and he threatened the slaves. He tried to use fear to say, well, I'm going to root work all y'all if you snitch. And they end up still snitching because he tried to use a fear tactic to gain control. That's what I said. This is a very controlling aspect or whatever the case may be it's not like that it's kind of like somebody using information against them and it's kind of like if you feel stuck or emotionally in a place it's kind of like this is what you manifest i'm just being honest so the defensive energy where you turn around where you're saying like you may have to always defend yourself against other people or other things it's kind of like in that moment it is what it is because you got the eight of coins you got the um four of cups and you got the big house like needing to be able to deal with change it's kind of like with you putting in the work or recognizing that everything ain't what it seems like somebody has to be toned down a little bit like everything ain't what it seems sometimes you got to be able to deal with with new with new changes or whatever the case may be it's like this is the thing where somebody's shaking up like say for instance if you suffer with control issue it's kind of like your universe or your god or whatever you believe in in that moment is saying okay i'm snatching this knife from under, under from you let's see how you do and it's kind of like every time that happens somebody is still getting stuck in a rut that's what i say you got the mother of coins seven of sticks six of sticks just like where you know where their pride before they fall, where the destruction comes in, where you feel like you trampled on, where you need to defend yourself against other people. You may feel like you need to defend your money. Or in a space of when it comes to um material aspects, that's what it just gives me money. I'm telling you, it's money, it's wealth, it's boundaries, it's I'm telling you, it just gives me boundaries though. Like I'm telling you, this it. I'm telling you, like defensive and it's find this like needing to defend stand up like constantly having to stand up like oh my god oh my god oh my god where it's saying like everybody's against you because it's kind of like people don't recognize they put that out three of coins seven of knives daughter knives i go to negativity where you hear me say somebody could just be possibly operating in lower vibrational energy like a little pissed off ticked off where they're a little acidic 
Like, you know, like they just a lot to deal with in that moment. That's why I said if this is what you put out majority and somebody's being that way with you, it's kind of like, yeah. And then you hear me say to me, 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 holding on to that four coins, like holding on to and saying a sense of result. It's kind of like that there is keeping you in a position where it's like un, it's like help there, but you're not tapping into it. It's kind of like you're going to work yourself to the bone or you're going to hold that grudge. Or you're going to hold on to that until you be able to ask for help or just let it go. Five of sticks. Ace of pentacles. Two of baskets. That's why I say it's like in this moment. If you're dealing with a sense of relationship and you're going through triumphing time, it's kind of like somebody wants to continuously hold on to what they used to do. What used to, what used to work. I don't want to work. Like somebody's interest is not invested. Or if you're single, you look for a relationship. It's like you're putting yourself in situations where you don't belong. But if you're in a relationship, though, it's kind of like... <sighs> It just, I'm telling y'all, it just give me, I can't say, but it, 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 I'm telling you, somebody is in a mood, I tell you that, in a mood, because you got the father knives, all pudding, don't care what he say, don't mind his business, meddler, fiber baskets, being trampled on emotionally, the victim aspects, emotional wounds, that's what I said. It's kind of like somebody not cognitive of what they put out. That's why I said you got the. Eight of six, eight of ones, ace of knives, three of baskets, courting. That's the lovers, two of pentacles. In my room. Nigga, go in your room, nigga. Yeah, but that's it, though. And that's why I said it's like this here, this closed off, this opinion. Like, things coming at you fast or whatever the case may be. Like, um, things coming at you fast or it may seem like you're being thrusted into a new position for new. Where you hear me say with the three of baskets, uh, courting, and two of pentacles. That's why I said it's kind of like some contractual or relationship. It seems like if you're in a marriage right now, your marriage may be feeling like, Y'all see two different sides. Like, it's kind of like somebody may not be as loving or somebody not be as understanding as they was in the beginning or if it's just a relationship or support group, whatever it is, it, is, it may not seem like it's as loving right now. That's what it kind of gave me, though. It, it kind of seems like it's there. It's a one-man show. I keep saying that. You see how it's one person on a tricycle holding two things. So it could be when you hear me say they need to ask for help. It could be somebody holding on to their own perspective. You hear me say grudges, emotional, this, this, or trying to balance the sort of relationship when it takes two people. Somebody keep trying to be strong all by themselves. But then, too, you hear me say what you put out is what you get back. This energy kind of gives me, though. So tomorrow we're going to upload the love reading. Not tonight. Your girl is tired. Oh, wait a minute. I said I was going to show y'all. Can you see it? It's like Gullah Jack instruct instru what it's like. Gullah Jack has a noose around his neck, but his face is serene. He has a Congo cosmogram as his third eye. Gullah Jack instructed the rebels instructed the rebels to eat a special diet of corn and peanuts the day of the attack and provided them with crab claws and tails meant to keep them safe. He also threatened to put root works on any of the slaves. Who spoke of the plan? Unfortunately for the rebels, the plan was betrayed and the revolt was suppressed. As for, wait a minute, I think my thing for me. As for, where does it go? This card is a reminder to be a man or a woman 
to be a man or a woman enough to accept my consequences, to accept any consequences of your actions. If the current stalemate is in direct result of your own ignorance or bad choices, then tough shit. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. You'll be free once the necessary lessons have been learned. Gullah Jack could also be trying to tell you that sometimes the sacrifices of your own desires for the good of the whole is the right thing to do. Wait. Pause. Reflect. It's okay to be vulnerable sometimes. Accept it. This is the way it has to be for now. What will it take for you to just let it go? It's okay to change your mind. If the sacrifice is worth it, then that's what you wow that's what are you then what are you waiting for jesus i couldn't get that out now it's time to put the need of others first so on that note you guys i am going so hope this help y'all out so yep i gotta go